Welcome back to Let's Play Thousand Arms. Last time I mentioned that things in the uh, Cloud Menta were permanently missable, although that was a little misleading. I mean, like, you can come back to Sharon and just, you know, this is where we entered Sharon. You can just climb up the stairs here, and here we are in the Cloud Manta. We didn't see this area before, although I actually believe we could have gotten here before. I just, you know, didn't find this place. We just go up and around, and here we are in the main area. I think there's a save Damashi pretty close to this spot, but, uh, yeah, not right there. Yeah, pretty simple to get back here. There's actually an enemy we missed in here, and I wonder if we'll encounter it before I exit. Well, we're getting into a battle, so hopefully... The volume is a little loud for me. I'm going to lower it just a bit. There it is! The Gear Lady! That is an enemy that we did not see last time. I believe it's the only enemy in this area that we did not see last time. And it's going to use its special. Not too weak of an attack. Oh man, it's just... You're just spamming your special, aren't you? I don't really blame you, considering it's such a quickly activated attack, but it's still kind of annoying that you're doing that. Thankfully, you're not doing it now. That is a regular attack, and that's all she's really got to her, so... I can safely finish her off without missing out on anything. While Sodina yells at her. It. I mean, when it's a robot, do you call it a her or an it? I suppose that depends on how advanced the AI is, whether or not it has a real personality or, you know, enough personality to almost resemble having a soul or not. And now we just take care of this one enemy we did see last time. Mainly Soshi was dealing with these. Quit slapping me! Oh, I'm kind of glad she dodged that because we have the opportunity to see her special now. So she taunted the enemy by faking a coughing fit. And their speed decreased, I'll take that. Oh, so your special attack is blowing kisses at me, huh? Mice has been paralyzed! You jerk. Uh, I don't think I have a... So she does not have any spells, right? I don't think I have a spell that can cure that... Yeah, Kira just deals with poison. Alright, I'll have to use an item. Soshi, you use it. Just... cuz, I guess. Yeah, high antidote will do. This battle is lasting a lot longer than it should have. Alright, now I can cancel defense. Finish this friggin' enemy off already. Yeah, you tell her, Sadina. Out of my face. Really? Okay, seriously. Out of my freaking face. Thank you. Alright, now we can actually, you know, get on with our lives and do things. Yeah, my level up for Mice and Weena. Uh, that battle was terrible. But at least we got to see a new enemy in special. And I'm gonna heal with... I'll use a spell. Musa, you do the honors. Heal plus. Nice. Not quite fully healed, but I'll live with that. It's close enough. Just gotta head down these stairs and... Back outside, to Sharon, which we can explore a little bit, because last time I was just kind of rushing to try and find the inn. Although I did find some MP on a balcony in the first area here, but there is more MP to be found around. But there are also shops, lots of shops. The ones on the right sell things for the ladies, and the ones on the left sell items and equipable accessories and such. However, there's a bit of a problem. You can't find a better deal anywhere else. I beg to differ. You, sir, are charging double for everything. They're all charging double for everything. And for that matter, you may recall that the inn we tried to stay that we stayed at last time was charging ten times the amount of you know per u for usual. Uh print club pictures are the same cost at least. 
yeah, the shops, the merchants, they're charging double for all items, and the hotel charges you ten times the usual rate, so... This is not a fun place to be if you wanna, you know, if you're looking to spend money, but also to spend it wisely. Well, I can come to this house here, though, to find some MP at this book, and there's nothing else of interest in here, so I'll just leave. Gonna go explore, get all the MP we can, talk to everyone, because, hey man, it's a new town, and there's, I can't see a reason not to do that. You can get an absolutely wonderful view from the balcony. That's the best place to go on a date. Hmm. Duly noted, although, ironically, that's actually not the best dating spot for the girl that you should date in this town. The best dating spot is, like, near the fountain, as it turns out. Anyway, I'm totally gonna forge with... Sodina, because even though her mood is lower than Weena's, Sodina has a spell to teach all of us right now, so... Yes, Light Plus. I already forged with Weena at level 6 to teach Musa Dynamic Cyclone. That's all Weena had to teach at level 6. Sodina's got a new Light Spell. Offensive spell for us, so... Go ahead and power everyone's weapons up and... Learn them all a spell. It's gonna be Soshi's only spell for now, but... We'll teach him more spells later. Especially with town girls. I've decided that for the non-party girls, I'm just gonna focus on that probably, like, right before the end of the game. And until then, just mainly focus on the party girls, because... As said before, I'm already, you know, over-leveled enough, and kind of low on MP, it's kind of becoming scarce, so... I don't really want to focus on dating the town girls right now. I could get some interesting spells and abilities, but... Uh, I, can do that, I can do that later, and show that off later, so... I think I already talked to you. No, I didn't. Isn't Lapu- I mean, isn't Sharon great? Were you surprised to find it floating in the sky? So, Lapu... Huh? You probably- you probably hear that a lot, right? I'm wondering if that's a reference to what I think it's a reference. She cuts herself off from saying Lapu something. And I don't- 92 MP in the fountain, nice. All I can think of is Laputa and the castle in the sky. Hey, the cable car is off limits. The use of the cable car cannot be approved at this moment. Move along, I'm wearing a turban and cool shades. Those guys are blocking the only way we have out of this town, so... Yeah, ever since we got to... Basically, ever since we entered Tokyo Point, we've been on one long point of no return. After, uh... I think after this, after Sharon, we'll be able to actually, like, use teleport him to get to old places again, but for now we're kind of stuck. Money is the greatest thing since sliced bread! Let's all praise the power of money! I think you're getting a little too greedy and obsessed with money. Inflation this year is so high that I can barely make enough honest money to feed myself. Sounds like things are going a bit rough in this place. Mommy told me never to play with kids from Coin Kill. Yeah. Coin Kill is a bad part of town, I guess? That's where we're supposed to meet that girl from before. You can use the cable car to get back to the surface, but you need Levantus's approval. Oh, goody. I guess we'll have to see him about that at some point, then. There are guards in front of Levantus's mansion. There's also a cable car terminal inside. Yeah, I kind of gathered that about the cable car terminal. We have already seen the hotel before, but what we did not see last time I was in here is the MP we can acquire in the hotel room back here. Also, look at that. It's totally, like... Kind of, I want to say Arabian themed. Anyway, if I examine this uh, seat cushion here, 87 MP. There's a proper term for that. a footstool, I think, is what I'm thinking of. There's some nice MP amounts floating around in this place. Get it? Floating around? Haha, <laughs> that actually was not intentional. Let's go and pest on. Because it's got a nice atmosphere. Nice and jazzy place. If I examine this table, I can get 66 MP. Not bad. Let's talk to Floating Guy. This guy told me if I placed tiny classified ads in the newspaper, I would get rich. I don't know about that. This one Damashi was a little cuss-happy a couple days ago. He mentioned some guy named Mice or something. 
<laughs> I suppose he was one of the various Damashi that we were beaten on recently. Yo, lady. Hi there, cutie. I just love rich, handsome guys. I'm not quite rich. Uh, I wish there was something I could do for those kids in Coinkill. If only Sally Smothers was here. Dude! Not cool, man. I, I don't think what they need is to be put out of their misery. I think they need genuine help. Uh, Alright. Let's head to Coinkill. There's not really any... Oh, wait, I missed a balcony. I'll go back for it later. Because right now we're getting locked into a scene. And the music's different in this area, this part of town, and it does look kind of run down and seedy, too. I'm so glad that you've come. Please come to my house. I need to talk to you in private. Okay. And there's her theme again. So, what's going on? My name is Kyleen. I must tell you what happened to Sharon. Please bear with me. The people of Sharon have changed. No, they've been corrupted. They used to live honest lives. Ever since Levantis came, the merchants have started to treat their customers badly. Through, through, through Levantis, they buy goods from the Empire and sell them at outrageous prices. And they have no qualms with selling products of poor quality. People in Fugoja began to notice, but... Hmm... The market will eventually collapse, and the Empire will take over Sharon. I'm trying my best to restore Sharon, and to get rid of Levantis once and for all. I didn't realize how grave the situation was. Oh no, it's very late. I'm very sorry. Would you care to stay the night? Hmm... <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Or, why don't we talk about love tonight? Alone? Hmm... I'm, I've most of the time been going against, against these kind of options, so what the heck, let's... Let's do something a little different and be, why don't we talk about love tonight, alone? Oh, I'm so glad. And mice gets all starry-eyed. But Sardina... <laughs> mice! But I'm sorry I can't. I'm not in front of everybody. You don't have to worry about them. And Kyleen gets a heart. Maybe next time, okay? Wow. Please follow me. The bedrooms are this way. Well, that surprisingly worked for Kyleen, but Sodina was understandably pissed. You know what, before I move on, why don't I go back to that balcony I missed? Because I totally can do that right now. So I might as well. And I can also have a little look around Coin Kill before I move on with plot stuff. That camera, man. The way, it the, the way it rotates on its own can be kind of awkward sometimes. You can rotate it manually yourself, at least, but you do have to stand in place to rotate it. Anyway, through these arches is where I wanted to go, and when we get onto this balcony, we can examine that spot for 91 MP. Now, there's some pretty good rates in this town. That all is stuff I found uh, playing just a little bit before I actually started recording. I don't know if uh, where any MP might be here in Coin Kill. So I might have to look around more, just kind of not worry about it. Looks like I can't go into... I was going to say, it looks like I can't go into most buildings, so I don't have to worry too much, but perhaps I spoke too soon. That kid has a pan on his head. Oh, dude, 65 MP. Dude, it's Donald! When I grow up, I'll work hard and help out my mom. That was not a good accent attempt. I, I apologize. I, I don't even know what went wrong there. Please leave us alone. Eh, sorry. I just... I, I needed your MP. I hope you don't mind. I'm sure you weren't using it anyway. I want to eat until my tummy gets full. Aw. This is the Coin Kill District. What are you doing here? I don't know. What am I doing here? Oh, right. Kyleen. So, you. You look like a merchant. If people see you come here, they'll treat you differently. Hmm. Good to know, I guess. No, you're a merchant. 
please buy something? And that depends on how much you're selling for. Dude, you're actually selling at, like, the proper rates. You know what? I'm gonna buy stuff from you, just because you're awesome. You're, like, in need of the money, and you're not trying to rip me off. I respect you for that. Thanks. Anytime. Alright. So through here... We've got... A girl. That I almost did not see because of the camera. You came from Fugu Fugoja to check us out? Then will you ask that evil man how long we'll continue to be tormented? Yeah, I do intend to try and do something about this. But for now, I gotta rest. You mean you're not from Sharon? Nope, I'm not. Aha, another building I can go into. Let's see what's in here. I bet I can get some more MP. Hopefully. Out of something. Chair, table, bed, a crate. Or maybe the pots. 51 MP. Alright. Why are we living like this? It's all that man's fault. He is the one responsible for our hardships. Honest people get treated the worst, just like us. That happens a lot, even in reality. Not always to this extent, but it does happen a lot. In some, to some degree. But, it's still worth living honestly because, you know, you don't feel like crap. <laughs> anyway. Let's see our rooms. This room is for the girls. Good night, mice. Good night, Sadina. Don't forget to brush your teeth, mice. Okay, we know. <laughs> and the room over I was not expecting that. And the room over there is for the guys. Let's go! Let's stay up all night and party and play card games on motorcycles. I have no idea where that came from, by the way. Come on, mice, time to sleep. Eileen is so cute. She's very classy. Yeah, she's pretty, but something about her made me feel strange. I felt that too. Strange indeed. I can see how Musa feels strange, but you? You like all girls. Huh? What do you mean by that? Anyway, we should get some sleep. We need to get up early. Uh, uh by the way, uh, mice, could you move your hand? <coughs> Where's my stuff? Uh-oh. My possessions have disappeared. Oh no, what the Ha! <laughs> Uh, Weena. My stuff is gone! Uh! Ah, uh, so is mice as I take it. Your stuff is gone too, mice? Stupid thief! Ugh! I knew something was suspicious about that girl! She was after our stuff from the very beginning! I can't believe this, Kyleen. You fell for it, mice. Come on, guys. You can't accuse someone without proof. How naive. But there's no sign of someone breaking in. Who else could have done this? You underestimate women. I was suspicious of her since the beginning. Hmm. I see. But we still don't know if Kyleen- But we still don't know if Kyleen took our belongings or not. Come on, guys. Let's look for Kyleen. Well, considering she's not here at the moment, she does seem kind of guilty, don't you think? I guess we'll see, though. Hey, there's MP on the couch. It's always possible she stepped out for a bit, though, while someone else came in. And she just forgot to lock the door. You never know. Hey, there's a bunny! And this boarded-up window or something. Yeah, like... No, no, it's not boarded up. It's just dark. 58 MP. All right. Alright, that's, I think, about all the MP I'm gonna be getting. We gotta try and find Kyleen now. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. 
Oh man. I wasn't I forgot you showed up here. Someone please. Hola, mi amigos. <laughs> I have devoted myself to saving people. So, don't you think you should give me something in return? I lost all my stuff. What? You don't have anything? <laughs> oh, you guys are lying. I must punish you for lying. Oh no. <gasps> must be that me look. <laughs> Filet mignon I feasted on last night. <laughs> oh, mm, gotta go. Do you believe in true love? Ah, where the hell's the bathroom? <laughs> well, guess I avoided that battle. Thank you, stale meatloaf, or something. I. This game, man. <laughs> this game. Alright, let's try and find Kylie now, like we were, you know, gonna do. There you are. I've got something to ask you. Kylie, did you take our stuff? I trusted you. Trust? Are you stupid? How can you trust people? Welp, she admits it. It's important to trust people, you know. Are you saying there's something more important than money in this world? You must be out of your mind. Money isn't everything. Well then, what is? Dating girls is everything. Nah. Being a warm-hearted person. Mice, you're sounding unsu like surprisingly cheesy right now. Did you say warm-hearted? Are you serious? Hey, get back here! Hey, mice, don't let her get away! She runs off no matter how you answer those questions. So, gotta find her again. Where did you get off to this time? There you are! Hey! Give me my stuff back. Wait, Kylene! Do you remember the one night we spent talking about love? That was a day. Spent the night talking about love? What is love anyway? Love makes the world go round. Makes the world go round, huh? Can love satisfy your hunger? Can you survive only on love? But life is empty without love. What do you think, you're cool or something? You couldn't even get the time of day with those pathetic lines. And basically what you're saying is you can't live on love alone. You're so stupid. You're missing the point, although I'll admit those lines are pretty cheesy. The point is that... Well, let's let Weena have her say. Man, she bailed again while you were talking crap! Uh, sorry, I'm trying to convince her instead of beating her up, if you don't mind. If this- if that doesn't work, I'll totally let you handle it, though. The point is that, though you can't live simply on love, life without it is not worth a lot, either. Kylene, wait! We will save this town as we promised. Keep so... Keep in mind, I'm not referring to love exclusively as the kind of love that couples share. I mean, love in a more broad, general sense. If you don't have even that kind of love in your life, you're not going to be a very happy person. Promise? There's no such thing as promises around here, you geek. Like the love between friends. Platonic love, if you will. You're wrong, Kyleen. Promises are important in relationships. Promises bind people together. What are you, crazy? What ties people is money. Well, I'd better get going. That's not right, Kylene. You're mistaken. Let's go, mice. Let's go after her, mice. Uh, writers? 
Why? Why was that repeated? Eh, nitpicks. Alright. Where did she... Give me my stuff back! I'm getting tired of your crap. <sighs> Kyleen! <laughs> you must have dreams like everyone else. Let's make them come true together. Dreams? What are dreams? Dreams help us through each day. You know, I kind of miss how, like, I, th I feel like the voice acting was best earlier in the game, but oh well. Help us? When does that dream come true? It'll come eventually. Journey, huh? What is life to you, then? We're not supposed to be concerned about the meaning of life. You contradict everything. I've had enough. Here, take your stuff. Thank you. Don't think I trust you yet. Levantis made Sharon like this. Prove yourself by defeating him. His mansion is at the center of Fagosia. You take care of him yourselves. Fine. Off with you then. I would have done it anyway, you know. All right. We need to we need to have a few words with Mr. Levantis. Cuz things are pretty messed up here right now. And it seems those guards are conveniently gone at the moment. So, let's step inside. Nice place I got here. Nice music, too. Really nice place I got here, actually. Like, wow. Wait, really? There's battles in here? Maybe I should head back to the inn and save. This might take longer than... What are you... <laughs> what the crap is that? It's a man... It, it, it's like a stereotypical Arabian man in a turban with a feather, dressed in an orange or a tomato box or something, with snake puppets sticking out of... What? Oh, man. Uh, what is this guy's attack? He jabbed me with one of his puppets. I... I suppose he's the entertainment here. And we've got some nice backup dancers or something. Wonder what the special's gonna be. That's pretty fabulous, although not quite as fancy as, you know, Bandiger's spin. Did that poison me? Yeah, that poisoned me. Not the front line, I wanna cancel the back line. So, Dina. Ready a cure spell, if you would. Yeah, I dodged your girly slap. Oh man. I like that he even has a voice clip. Alright. Man, that special activates pretty- oh, that was the poison. That special does activate pretty quickly, though. Seems like it doesn't do damage, though, so that's something. That's a pretty powerful slap. Alright. Cure mice just before I finish this last guy off. I probably should head back to the inn after this. Those dancers are pretty fabulous, but... They're still... I'd say outclassed by Bandiger. Oh man, look at all that GG and MP. Pretty nice. And I got an Antidote EX and a High Antidote for my trouble out of that, so... I suppose I can start using those to cure my status ailments inflicted in this place. Yeah, let's head back to the inn and save for now, because... That place is going to be a little more trouble than I anticipated, I think. I thought I could, you know, just go ahead and tr go to the next, next like, cutscene and... Like, go to the next cutscene and maybe reach the next save Domashi or something before I end the video, but nah, I think I'd better just... ...rest up at the hotel here and then save my game. Actually, I'm not gonna bother resting up because I... 
not I haven't really lost that much of anything and this inn is unreasonably expensive so I'm just gonna go ahead and save and call it good call it good with that so yeah we've learned about the what the evil within Sharon going on right now actually is and after getting scammed by Kyleen too but thankfully we did get our stuff back Next time, we will prove ourselves to her, although I'm not terribly concerned with that as much as I am just with saving this town. But yes, next time, we will go have a little talk with Levantis and see what we can get done about fixing this place. Got a few choice words for him and a nice sword if he won't listen to reason. So I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.